so as you can see we have here the boat it's an FBX boat with one material with some textures I object merge it 28 meter long okay so we will create an animation so here is our shape this is its front control G so the front is in minus X okay let's create a curve press enter Let's insert the points. We'll make it go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now please select the points. Then at the click follow path or path follow here the input geometry and here the target curve. Okay, so let's see now. Okay, so the position need to change. is 280 to 70 okay. let's have a view so here this is start small Alt click and let's go to frame. I don't want 240, let's say 150. To frame 150, we take this position. Let's view it now. And it's very fast, so let's modify the curve. See now, thank you. Let's make it smoother. Okay. So let's save it. We are good to go now. Okay, so null. step we want to create a box that will follow this boat so box roughly or let's say we create a tube 
this time. And the tube will make it larger. With some height so we can see it. Normal lighting. Let's make it even bigger. the tube I back it so it's one bond then I use the transform pieces connected to the tube and the second input to the template bond the one we are following and last one is the rest position then I and back it again so it's now following only one thing here we'll make it linear So it will start from the beginning. Okay. Next step. So in this point, let me take this aside. And now we will add flip container. Let's save it and connect it. And this is our container. Let's just make it let's say 5 10 and 24 now okay. and move it up like that so let's say 4 now in the flip container I'll go to the particle separation uh, the particle separation, this parameter uh, will determine the fluid quality and the detail that it will have. The higher the number, the less the resolution. So we'll just keep it 0.1 for now and continue from here. Now we want our boat to collide with the flip, or, uh, flip fluid. So we will add a flip collide so we can maintain this relationship. This one will be connected here. So first input is the source, the container, and the collision, and the new collision geometry. And that will be this one. remove this one here and now we can have a view of the colliding geometry so it's activated we are computing the velocity so we have will here but let me add a point velocity while we are here here we will compute from deformation let's view it the velocity so now we have also velocity and all the required fields so continue from here so we have the impact geometry we add the flip container and we have the collider now let's add the flip boundary Here the boundary is used uh, pressure. Pressure will have a lot of waves, and after that we'll add a flip solver. Flip solver. 
will be connected and immediately we see nothing so let's go to the water line and we add water line give it a moment and now we have it here let's see if it's colliding maybe I need to rise it, raise it a little bit up and this it up here where is the float flip container let me make it point four I have this particle but more response and in the water line I raise it one meter high let's play and see save So this is the part of the result. I think I will make this one smaller because it's a huge. Okay. Centroid and uh, in the transform, where is the handle? Yeah, let's see, show this one. set up the shape, we set up the boundary layer, the flip container and the flip solver and we activated the water line, we added some curve animation and in this video we'll take it further uh, another step, but I will fix this little bit here, I'll fix that curve, 
Okay, see you in the next video. Thank you.